What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to tell you how to study for a math test and you'll be able to pass your math class. All right, now the answer I'm going to give you, you're probably not going to like because it's going to involve some work, but to study for your math test, this is what you've got to do. So a lot of you, what you do when you study, you have the problems you're going to practice sitting right here. You have your notes sitting right here. And what do you do? You go to this problem and you may work it through, get everything right, go to the next problem, work it, get it right, go to the next problem. And then you come to one and you're working it and you get stuck somewhere in the problem. And what's the first thing you do usually? You go to your notes and you say, oh, that's right, I remember how to work it now. And then you go and you finish the problem. And in your mind, you're thinking, oh, well, I know how to work it now. But you don't because you had to look at your notes. And that's the same thing that happens when you're on the test. You're, you're on the test and you work in that problem and you get to a certain point in the problem and you forget how to do it. Well, what's the difference? On the test, you don't have your notes to go look at, okay? And, and you may think to yourself, well, I studied and I studied and I studied and I didn't do that good on the test. Well, then you need to change the way you study. You're not studying right, no matter how much you study. You have to study the right way. And so I'm going to give you a few tips, a few pointers on how to do that, all right? So... The first thing you have to do, you have to go to class, you have to take notes, you have to pay attention, okay? Don't be on your phones in class and all that stuff. Pay attention and take notes. Do your homework. You have to do your homework. And I know now a lot of, a lot of schools, they go to the online homework. And we all know the most important thing to do is to get the answer and plug in the right answer. Well, that's, that's not necessarily true because what a lot of students are doing is they're going to these sites, Wolfram Alpha or these other sites that will actually work the problem out for you. And I'm sure some of you have heard of my math lab. My math lab has those features in there where you can show me, how to, show me an example. And what does it do? It pulls a problem up just like you have and it shows you how to work it out step by step. And then what do you do? You just copy and you get the right answer. You just change, change the numbers to match your problem. Well, that's not doing you any good. You're, you're wasting your time doing homework if you're doing that on every problem. Now, you know, that's fine if you want to do it on maybe one or two problems. But then you have to eventually get to where you're working the problems on your own not with any assistance and that's that's where students are messing up i've had students come to me a lot saying well i got the right answer i, I put it in this uh, on this website and it told me the answer and even getting the answer and then the students and then students are trying to do the work to get to the answer that's not helping you any okay you're not learning it like that all right so that's the first thing you have to do. And yes, it's going to take time and you're going to have to spend, you know, a couple of hours on your homework maybe. But it's worth it if you pass the class and you don't have to take it again. All right. So now that's, that's how you need to do all during the quarter, semester, or school year, depending on if you're in college, you're on the quarter system, semester system, or if you're in high school, okay? You need to do that. Pay attention, take notes, and do your homework without, and try to do the homework without any assistance, okay? And don't wait till the last minute to do it. All right, now to study for the test. So what you need to do to study for the test is you've got to go back and work problems, that's the only way. You can't just go back through and read through problems in your notes and expect to know how to do it. You have to actually get your pencil, paper, and work the problems out. Okay? Now, how do you do that? Well, you get your book out. 
and whatever sections you have on the test, you go there, you, you go to, the, to a problem, you work it without assistance and then work it again, you know, work another one, work another one. All right. Now, what, what a lot of students will do is they will sit there and they'll be on a problem that they don't know how to work or that they, they, they can maybe get it started or maybe not get it started. And what, what, what do you do when you do that? You go back and you look at your notes and you say, oh yeah, I remember now how to do that. And then you go work it. Well, guess what? You don't know how to work that problem now because you had to go get help. And that's fine to do that, to, to get your notes out, to maybe say, okay, I can't remember, I can't quite remember how to how to work this problem. You know, you got a group of problems and the directions are the same for all of them. Well, maybe the first problem you work out of that group, if you need to go to your notes and look, that's fine. Go to your notes and say, oh, okay, I know how to work these now and work it. But don't just work that one. Work several of them without your notes, okay? That's what happens when people say, oh, I froze on the test, I went blank. Well, the reason students freeze on the test or go blank is because all those problems that they're working, they're, they're looking at their notes or getting some kind, of an assist, some kind of assistance on working the problem. Well, when you're on the test, you don't have that assistance, okay? So be able to work all the problems without looking at anything. That's how you have to study for a math test. And you have to actually put your pencil on the paper and work them out. Okay? You just can't read through how to work them. You can't read your steps. I, I, see, I see a lot of students doing that. They're sitting there with their notes uh, studying for a math test. They're sitting there and they're just, they're just sitting there reading through the notes just looking at them. Okay, just looking at the notes. You got to get your pencil out and actually work the problems, but without assistance. That's the important thing there. And the other thing is not studying the night before the test. Okay, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. If you're studying the night before the test, then you didn't do it right. You should be studying about four or five days before your test. Just start, you know, start on whatever section and start studying, okay? Now, and I know that this is probably more for college, this part, studying four or five days before the test, because in college, your tests cover more sections than in high school. A lot of high school uh, tests, they'll be over maybe one or two sections. So, but you know, high school, start at least a couple of days before the test. But, you know, if you're in college, start studying about four or five days before the test and, and be studying, you know, a couple hours each day for that test. And yes, of course, you've got to do your homework too, you know. It's, it's work. It's work. It's a lot of work. But that's what you've got to do if you want to pass, okay? And I know some of you are better at math than others and for those of you that are better or pretty good at math then you may not need as much time to study but for those of you that struggle that's what you've got to do okay so you know start studying and studying every day and then the night before the test all you should be doing is maybe going working a couple of problems from each group you know each different type of problem working a couple of those just reviewing real quick that's that if you're doing that then you've studied right okay so I know what I've said in this video you probably don't like it you probably wanted an easier way to do it an easy way to study and pass a math class well let me tell you there's not one and and I've seen I've seen videos on the internet oh easy way to pass a math class easy way to study for a test it, it, you can't do it Okay, you can't do that. You have got to put the time in. And if you will do that, then you should do, do good in your math class. Okay, it's going to be the amount of work that you put in there. All right, so I'll, I'll quit rambling on. Okay, I usually give my, this speech to my students. 
the first day of class. But, but I hope this video helped. Leave something in the comments. If you have a question, I'll try to answer it, uh, you know, about studying things you can do. Uh, but, you know, hope it helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.